Hello everyone, welcome back to another aquatic adventure. I'm Erin and I am here with Wave Foundation at Newport Aquarium and I am in part of our ship, new shipwreck exhibit. And behind us, we have some really interesting fish. So we're gonna highlight a few of them, but we're gonna take a little bit of a different view for our second fish that we highlight. First though, we're gonna talk about the lionfish. Uh, so that is one of these fish. Um, you see a couple floating around over here. They have the long, almost frilly spikes and spines on them. And they're very, very identifiable by those spines. And they're really important. Uh, so these animals are actually invasive off the coast of a lot of the United States, mainly around Florida and in our warmer, warmer eastern coastal waters. And so they are a really big problem in that area. These animals are ambush predators. So what does that mean for a fish? For a fish, being an ambush predator means that they are going to move really slowly while they swim, sometimes even not moving at all. And you can see these lionfish are really good at staying just in one spot and hovering in the water. That makes them a great ambush predator. So then, if a small fish or a crustacean, some kind of crab or shrimp, were to swim by them, the fish, the lionfish, is going to really quickly reach their jaws out, reach their body out, and get that food. And so the lionfish are incredibly good at that. Now, like I said, they are invasive around the United States. So what that means is that they're not natively found in our warmer waters off our coasts, but they were introduced there somehow. So they either came over on some other fishing vessel or some other way. Um, and that's not uncommon, but these animals being ambush predators, they are really fantastic predators. And having those spines, which are actually venomous, they don't have any other predators that are going to eat them in our waters where they're not normally and natively found. And so these animals are able to survive unchecked by a predator. And so their numbers are able to just skyrocket because they're great predators and they have no predators. And so lionfish have become a really significant problem. However, they are beautiful. But we do have some really good work that's happening to control lionfish because what we have learned is that actually the meat of lionfish is fully edible. The venom is only in those spines. So if you can safely remove those, all the flesh of the fish that we all would normally eat is fully edible and tastes like any other white fish. So, so far, uh, some divers and other people off the coast are actually starting to hunt them for food, which is a great way for us to start controlling the lionfish population. Now, I said we were gonna talk about multiple fish today, and we're actually, like I said, gonna take a different view, but I'm gonna tell you about where we're headed first. So in this exhibit, there is actually a tunnel built under the exhibit that we are gonna walk through and we are gonna pop up inside of that clear that you are seeing inside the tank. And that's gonna allow us to see another fish which is called the scorpion fish. And they are also an ambush predator, but they look completely different and we're gonna see how they become really great ambush predators. So I'm gonna grab and move with us here. So we are gonna spin this around. Like I said, we are looking at this, but we are gonna take a dive under this tank and head into our tunnel and pop up inside of our lionfish tank. So now you're looking at another view of those incredible lionfish that we just talked about. But I'm gonna scooch over a little bit because the animal that I wanna talk about now is the scorpion fish, which is right here. And if you notice, that fish is not really moving and that is how they are an ambush predator. They are capable of sitting completely still and you can see their mouth is kind of upturned there at the edge. And you see what's moving on their body right now is their gills. And they are gonna just sit and wait for a fish or a crab or something that they are able to eat to come by and then they will gobble it up. Ooh, we have a perfect view here <laughs> of another scorpion fish. And you can see they've got that orange coloration which is hopefully a lure for their animals that they're prey that they're eating. Um, as well as some of the little frills that you will see along their lip. They are hoping that that kind of attracts their prey. And then we have a third as we keep going. This tunnel gives you such a great view. And so now you can see another side of our scorpion fish as they sit in wait for their prey. 